Right now at Obsessed Garage, we offer two three-inch polishers. That's the Rupes HLR 75 and the Merca three-inch. Uh, there's a couple differences between these polishers, and we're going to talk about what those are today. And we'll also go over the price difference between these and whether it is justifiable. So first, let's talk about the ergonomics of these two polishers. Obviously, the Merca is more of a body shop style, traditional trigger polisher, um, but it still fits pretty well in the hand while you're polishing and you can find some unique ways to hold this to where it doesn't fatigue you. The Rupes took a more ergonomic stance, so you're actually sort of holding the polisher inside of it rather than outside of it. And it really does help to reduce fatigue on long polishing jobs. As far as battery life goes, they're actually pretty similar. The Rupes will come with two 2.5 amp hour batteries and the Merca will come with two 5.0 amp hour batteries, uh, but we do sell the smaller 2.5s for the Merca. Again, battery life is about the same. You can expect to get anywhere from about 35 minutes up to an hour out of these units, depending on how hard you're pushing them. One benefit to picking the Rupes is that it has the hybrid technology, meaning you can take the battery out and plug in an adapter that allows you to plug it into the wall. The last thing that we're gonna talk about is the power delivery of these units and how they actually feel when you're polishing on the car, since that is the most important part of a polisher. As far as three inches go, the Merca is undoubtedly the king right now, both in power delivery uh, and the smoothness of the machine. Hopefully, you can hear just from me pulling the trigger. It is incredibly smooth. There's very little vibration in it. We actually like it so much that we find ourselves using it on much larger panels where normally we would switch over to a five inch polisher. It does have a variable trigger, variable speed trigger. If you wanna dial in the RPMs or the power that you're putting out, the app is actually phenomenal and it allows you to micromanage that, set it to exactly where you want it. Even though the Merca is the best polisher right now, the HLR still certainly has its place in the detailing world. It does have great power. We don't find it bogging down very much. And the ergonomics of it are phenomenal. So you can find yourself polishing for a lot longer than you normally would. And even though it's not the best, it's still really good. And it's much better than a lot of entry level polishers like the Grios or even lower ones than that. Hopefully you can hear from the machine that it is a little bit more crunchy than the Merca but it doesn't feel super bad in the hands. And the last thing we'll talk about is price. Now the Merca is significantly more expensive than the HLR, but we do believe that it's worth it. If you're somebody who just desires the best, or maybe you're in a professional environment and you need the best, the Merca is absolutely a buy. That being said, if price is really important to you in your purchasing decision, the HLR is still a phenomenal unit and you'll be very happy if you end up picking it up. So there you go. That is the difference between the two three inch polishers we sell. I don't think the Merca is a direct replacement for the HLR. I think they both belong in our store. They probably both belong in your detailing arsenal. Um, but we wanted to make this video to kind of explain the difference and help you make a purchasing decision. You can get both of these polishers and all the accessories you'll need in our store at obsessedgarage.com. And if you have any questions, you can let us know in the comments or reach out to support at obsessedgarage.com.